pairings. The pharynx is the part of the digestive system. In here, air and food both intermingle. The pharynx, posterior to nasal and oral cavities. Posterior to the larynx, we're talking pharynx. It extends from the base of the skull and down to the inferior border of the cricoid cartilage around the cervical vertebra where it becomes continuous with the esophagus. Its superior aspect is related to the sphenoid and occipital bones. These cranial landmarks where the nasopharynx calls home and the posterior aspect to the prevertebral tissues go to the second lowest cervical vertebrae and it will terminate even there are no issues. The pharynx is a fibromuscular tube lined by mucous membrane, but as you flow through its parts, their composition is sure to change. Divisible into nasal, oral, and laryngeal parts. Here are their names, learn them off by heart. You've got the nasopharynx, or pharynx, and laryngopharynx too. I'll go through these parts and show you what they do. The nasopharynx, first part of the pharynx. Oh, the nasopharynx carry food, no, it's on the mood. This one's just for air, let's look at its lair. It's superior to soft palate and discontinuous with the nasal cavity. We got the mucus, the air, oh, so fancy free. It contains the eustachy untube opening into the nasopharynx and the pharyngeal tonsils, or adenoids. Oropharynx, gilopharynx, extends inferiorly from the soft palate, then ends its journey at the epiglottis. It communicates anteriorly with the oral cavity by the foreshoulder or a pharyngeal isthmus. The oropharyngeal isthmus is the gateway to the throat, which is bounded superiorly by the soft palate. On the sides, it's held by the palate palatal arches. On the bottom, the tongue is where it marches. Laryngopharynx. The laryngopharynx extends from the top of the epiglottis to the inferior border of the cricoid cartilage where it becomes continuous with the esophagus. Its anterior aspect has the inlet of the larynx and the posterior aspects of the arytenoid and cricoid cartilages. Foreign bodies may be lodged in the pyriform recess. That part of the laryngopharynx is cavity where objects can't progress. Situated on each side of the inlet of the larynx. If you're choking, this area is oh so sus. The pharynx where food and air collide. The choking tube where secret food hides. From skull to throat, it's quite a ride. The pharynx, your body's wild side. Nasopharynx, oropharynx, laryngopharynx, too. If food gets stuck, you'll turn blue from nose to mouth, the voice box true. The pharynx, it's all about air and food. The lower part gets blood from the inferior thyroid artery with superior thyroid artery cursory. The rest of the pharynx receives blood from the ascending palatine and tonsil or branches of the facial artery, as well as that sweet, sweet maxillary artery. Pharyngeal constrictors. The constrictors of the pharynx have fixed points anteriorly where they are attached to bones or cartilages, whereas they expand posteriorly, overlap one another from inferior to superior, and end in a median tendinous raphe in the posterior midline. Pharyngeal function. The chief action which the muscles of the pharynx combine is swallowing a complicated neuromuscular act whereby food is transferred from the mouth through the pharynx and the esophagus to the stomach. Be able to describe this process. Innervation. The motor in most of the sensory supply to the pharynx is by way of the pharyngeal plexus associated with the middle constrictor which is formed by the pharyngeal branches of the vagus and loss of pharyngeal nerves. The motor fibers in the plexus are carried by the vagus. The major cartilaginous components of the larynx are the hyoid bone, epiglottis, thyroid, cricoid, and arytenoid, corniculate, and cuneiform cartilages also provide structure but are quite small. The epiglottis is stabilized by muscle epiglottic folds and attached to the inner surface of the thyroid cartilage. The lecular and piriform recesses are potential areas for the collection of food particles. The thyroid membrane fills in the gap between the thyroid cartilage and the hyoid bone. The thyroid cartilage is shield-shaped. The cricoid cartilage is ring-shaped. The arytenoid cartilages are pyramidal-shaped with muscular and vocal processes, and corniculate cartilages sit on top. Extrinsic muscles of the larynx support and stabilize the larynx and change its position in the neck. These muscles include sternothoroid, thyroid, and the inferior constrictor, the lowest of the three pharyngeal constrictors. The superior constrictor joins to the origin of buccinator. Supplementary muscles that also influence the larynx include omohyoid, sternohyoid, suprahyoid muscles, hyoglossus, and genioglossus. The pharynx where food and air collide. The choking tube where secret food hides. From skull to throat, it's quite a ride. The pharynx, your body's wild side. Intrinsic musculature of the larynx. 
intrinsic muscles of the larynx are both ends of the muscle attaching within the larynx. Actions listed are related to the muscle shortening during concentric contractions. The cried cathode arises from the anterior cricoid and attaches to the thyroid cartilage. Moving the thyroid forward and downwards, tightening the vocal folds. The posterior cartillary tenoid extends from the cricoid cartilage to the muscular process of the arytenoid cartilage. Is locking arytenoid cartilages away from the midline, leading to the abduction of arytenoid cartilages and opening the rim of the This being the only muscle to do so, the lateral cartillary tenoid extends from the superior surface of the cricoid cartilage to the muscular process of the arytenoids, locking arytenoid cartilages towards the midline, adducting the vocal folds and closing the transverse arytenoid. Extends from the muscular process of the arytenoid processes to the adjacent arytenoid cartilage, closing the laryngeal. Limit. The thyroid tenoid forms most of each vocal fold, extending from the thyroid cartilage to the vocal process of the arytenoid cartilage. It's just the process of thickening up the thyroid tenoid muscle, adjusting tension in the vocal folds. Choir respiration. The laryngeal inlet, vestibule, and rima glottid is are open, and the arytenoid cartilages are abducted, forced inspiration. Vocal folds are adducted more by posterior cricoid tenoid muscle summation. Vocal folds are adducted, air forcing through the closed rima glottid is causes vibration. Tension is adjusted by vocal cords and cricoid effort closure of valve salve. The rima glottid is completely closed, completely closing off the airway. No supply. All intrinsic muscles of the larynx are mainly supplied by the 10th cranial nerve. Thank you, by the recurrent laryngeal nerves or superior laryngeal and inferior laryngeal nerve sensation from the larynx and laryngeal pharynx is carried by cranial nerve glossopharyngeal the glossopharyngeal nerve passes through the jugular forming with the vagus and accessory nerves it follows stylopharynx which it supplies and passes between the superior and middle pharyngeal constrictor to reach the oropharynx and of the tongue the vagus nerve is located in the carotid sheath between the jugular vein and carotid artery branches create the recurrent laryngeal nerves with different structures associated with the recurrent there is a marked difference between the right and left sides of the body cranial nerves will be covered in more detail in week 10 where food and air collide The choking tube where secret food hides From skull to throat it's quite a ride The pharynx, your body's a wild side Nasal pharynx, oral pharynx, laryngeal pharynx too If food gets stuck you'll turn blue From nose to mouth to voice box through The pharynx, it's all about air and food The lower part gets blood from the inferior thyroid artery A superior thyroid artery cursory The rest of the pharynx receives blood from the ascending palatine The tonsil branches of the facial artery As well as that sweet, sweet maxillary artery The vagus belly palatine lift that soft palate high From auditory tube to upper neurosis It's no lie Cranial nerve sets go and the fiddle fly Open in tunes and raise and move so my oh my Tensor belly palatine stretch that palate tight From tube and senoid bone it takes flight to palatine upon neurosis With all is my cranial nerve commands it tenses tight Musculus uvula is soft palate's friend down to the uvula That's where you end cranial nerve keeps you in the know Making the uvula wiggle and go All auto glosses Soft palate side to the tongue you glide Cranial nerve's your guide Raise the tongue now the passes with pride Palate to pharyngeus From soft palate you spring to pharynx And follow your fibers you bring Cranial nerve keeps you in the know Elevate larynx now pharynx as you go Stylopharyngeus from styloid you rise to pharynx And thyroid you acquire prize Cranial nerve sets your rhythm and tone Elevate and widen pharynx on your own on your own. Superior constrictor, pterygoid and jaw still like to pharyngeal or thyroid your fibers you bring. Vagus nerve that's cranial can constrict the pharynx again and again. Stylopharyngeus from thyroid you rise to pharyngeal or thyroid you acquire the cranial. Cranial nerve sets your rhythm and tone. Elevate and widen the pharynx on your own. Superior constrictor, pterygoid and jaw still like to pharyngeal or thyroid you hold on tight. Vagus nerve that's cranial can constrict the pharynx again and again. Middle constrictor from hyoid you spring to pharyngeal or thyroid your fibers cling. Vagus nerve number 10 once more now the pharynx from short to short. Inferior constrictor from cricoid and thyroid rise to pharyngeal or raphe no surprise. Vagus nerve 10 still in the mix constrict the pharynx with your tricks. The pharynx where food and air collide. The choking tube where secret food hides. From skull to throat, it's quite a ride. The pharynx, your body's wild side. Nasal pharynx, oral pharynx, laryngeal pharynx too. If food gets stuck, you'll turn blue. From nose to mouth, the voice box through. The pharynx, it's all about air and food. The lower part gets blood from the inferior thyroid artery. With superior thyroid artery cursory, the rest of the pharynx receives blood from the ascending palatine and tonsil branches of the facial artery, as well as that sweet, sweet maxillary artery. <laughs> Where secret food hides The skull to throat, it's quite a ride The pharynx, your body's wild side Nasal pharynx, oral pharynx, laryngeal pharynx too If food gets stuck, you'll turn blue From nose to mouth, the voice box through The pharynx, 
it's all about balance food. The lower part gets blood from the inferior thyroid artery, the superior thyroid artery cursory. The rest of the pharynx receives blood from the ascending palatine, the tonsil, the bridges of the facial artery, as well as that sweet, sweet maxillary artery.